known to many as simply the Wooden Church. Sacred Heart stands out on its hill above Johnson City. For Ukrainian immigrants and their descendants, it's a bit of the home country here in Broome County. And tonight's Legacy Landmarks reporter Amy Hogan takes us inside the unique church and its rich history. 80 feet of wooden beams, shingles, and planks. It is modeled after the types of church you would find in the Carpathian Mountains in Ukraine. You see how, how it's fused, okay. and it goes all the way up to the top, and how it widens up. So this is the main support of the church. Set against the wooden backdrop, bright colors and intricate carvings echo the vibrant Ukrainian culture. If you look at the, the icons of Jesus or Mary, you see it's a little bit like a little embroidery that was put in there. It's again because Ukraine, embroidery is very popular in Ukraine. The church was built fairly recently, 1977, but was in the works for much longer. Ukrainians have been here since the 1890s, 1880s. For Eastern European Catholics, there was one central church, St. Michael's on Clinton Street. Everybody who was not Roman Catholic would basically go to that church. So there's Ukrainians, Slovaks, Hungarians. When St. Michael's converted to an Orthodox church in the 1930s, groups began breaking off, wanting to remain Catholic. Each one formed their own little church, kind of like you know, Roman Catholics had the Irish church, the Polish church, the, the German church. You know, everybody went to their own to their own groupings of people. By 1944, the number of Ukrainian immigrants coming into Broome County was growing. Right after the war, they all came over. At that time, mass was held inside a former Methodist church in Binghamton, just down the street from St. Michael's on the corner of Clinton and Holland Streets, a spot that is now Kavarik's Hardware. In the 1970s, they finally began planning for their own space. Actually, that was kind of an uh, interesting couple of years in the parish. Lots of different opinions on what the new church should look like. Some wanted stone, others pushing for wood. And one of our parishioners said uh, her husband was on the committee to choose what kind of church. He comes home and he tells her, oh, dear, we're going to build a wooden church. She goes, what, are you crazy? <laughs> She goes, I can't imagine. She goes, you wait till you see it. I don't believe you. And then she saw the church. She goes, you know what? You're right. You were right. Beautiful and also practical. Cedar was chosen for the wood because it has natural oils that repellent the bugs. Now around 75 families congregate here. And the church is also celebrating 75 years since its founding. Every icon screen has three rows. Father Ted says while well, parts of the building have had to change with the times. We put on a new roof about uh, nine years ago, almost 10 years ago. The essence of the church and its community remain the same. Tradition and a place to call home. For Fox 40 News, I'm Amy Hogan.